Welcome to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. Today we look at Psalm 51 and verse 18. In your good pleasure, make Zion prosper. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Now we see how David's heart has been changed from this verse. Zion. Zion is where the temple was going to be built. Uh, Zion uh, is uh, some uh, place that was so precious and dear to David's heart. And uh, David was very passionate about Zion. So David is praying, make Zion prosper. So on account of David's sin, he suffers, his family suffers, the nation suffered. The nation suffered. We don't sin alone. Sin has ripple effect. And we don't realize it. At least Satan blinds us to that reality. And we need to realize that my sin is so contagious and infectious. So Zion, which is uh, symbolic of the people of God and the work of God, has all suffered because of David's sin. And uh, David is praying now for God's people that uh, God would cause them to prosper spiritually and materially. And uh, David has a deep concern for the people of God. And that's the mark of true conversion, isn't it? We are concerned for those who are outside the fold, those who don't know the Lord, and we are concerned for those who are inside the fold, for fellow believers. And uh, we want to encourage them. We want to see them grow. We want to see them become all what God wants them to be. So David is praying, Oh God, please touch your people. They have been hurt because of my sin. And uh, please, Lord, now uh, restore them, revive them, renew them, prosper them. And then David talks about rebuilding the walls of Jerusalem. In those days, walls always speak of security. The security for the nation dependent upon the walls. And David realized how vulnerable he had made the nation to the enemy on account of his sin. In fact, the enemies of God were blaspheming God because of David. We read that in 2 Samuel chapter 12 and verse 14. And uh, David is now very concerned that the security of the nation be established. So he prays for the walls to be erect, to be firm, so that the enemy cannot penetrate. And uh, he's praying for the defense and the safety of God's people. What a change in David. And look at how he is now concerned both for the people of God and the work of God. And that concern, that twin concern must always be there in us too. The people of God and the work of God. Amen. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.